Hi, this is your instructor Mike and I wanted to record some review of what we did on lecture one. On lecture one we learned about the terminal and we wrote a hello world program. Um, so I'm going to be working in the terminal right here and just go through that program and talk through the example um, very briefly so you can review um, what we did. One of the first things we did was used a text editor. Now, I'm going to use the Vim text editor, um, but you're welcome to use whatever text editor you want, whether that's Notepad or some other tool to write and compile your programs with the Clang++ compiler. So if I want to start a new program, I use uh, Vim, and then I can type in a program name like this, and this will create a new file for me. So I can do that. And once we're inside Vim, Vim has two different modes of editing text. Uh, so to use Vim, I'm going to hit the I key. And we'll notice at the bottom left corner, we get an insert prompt, which lets us know that we're in insert mode, which is what we're more used to when we use a, a text editor. Now we can type in uh, text wherever we want, so text here. If I want to escape insert mode, I can hit exit and notice that we're out of insert mode. Okay, so let's go ahead and type in our Hello World program. So hit I to enter insert mode, and then let's begin. The first thing I'm doing is including our library, which gives us different commands that we can use to write our program. Okay, so we include one called IOStream, which allows us to output text. And then we need to define the entry point to our program. And we can do this by specifying main. Now main is a function, and we're going to learn about that later on. But every C++ program has one. Uh, it's called main, and then some parentheses, which are punctuation for now, and we'll learn about uh, what goes inside those parentheses later on. But now I'm going to do a left bracket and a right bracket, and uh, you'll notice Vim highlights these uh, left and right curly braces, which let us know that they need to match. So if I get rid of one and put one there again, Vim will tell us, okay, you have matching brackets. And this is one sort of code unit um, that the computer will execute. Okay, so once I've done that, I'm going to write our output command, which is from a library um, in IOStream called std, and colon colon next to each other, and C out, I'm going to put a space, two uh, left wicket operators, and then hello uh, class. And then if I want to skip a space, slash n, uh, close the quotation because this hello class makes up one string of text so we match the uh, quotations as well and then a semicolon to end our statement and then finally we return a result to the compiler with return zero now that I've done that I'm gonna hit escape and then I'm gonna hit a colon uh, to enter a uh, another prompt in Vim W to write to the file, which is equivalent to saying, save this file for me, please. And then you'll see at the bottom left, hello world.cpp written. So that means it was saved. And if I want to quit, I hit colon and Q. Now, now we can actually compile our program. So we can do this with the clang command, clang plus plus. If I just hit enter, that's going to give me an error that says, well, there's no input files. We found the program called Clang++, but we haven't given it any input. So what we want to input is our Hello World program, hello world.cpp. And that's what's being input into the compiler that we're going to turn into ones and zeros that the computer understands. But then we're going to specify some additional commands to Clang to say the output dash o, lowercase o. And then what we want to call this program when we want to actually run it. And this is going to generate the program that we're used to um, having on our desktop that we double click. So I'm going to just call this hello world here. 
If it is successful, we'll get an empty line. There's no error messages or warnings. Then we can use the ls command. And we'll notice that um, this hello world program showed up. So if I do dat slash hello world, execute it, we'll see hello class. And that's it for this uh, refresh.